Oh man, oh man, not good. Oh man, I think I got a jack. What's going on boys and girls? I did it again. I may be developing a problem. It's a damn Shimana. Had to go ahead and get a Stratic, just a legendary reel right here. This is my first Shimano in a long time. Used to fish these freshwater. Haven't had one in a while. I uh, heard great things about this reel. Decided uh, to go, go for it. Uh, so here she is. Oh yeah. So I was reeling this next to a C14 and uh, the C14 is the lighter version of the Stratic. So essentially it's got the carbon rotor where this is going to be aluminum. This is a little bit heavier. This has the long stroke spool. But reeling them side by side, this just feels like a more solid reel. I've also read that this does better in salt water. So if you're gonna, if you're looking at a Stratic and you're thinking the C14 or the the HG or the FK and uh, the more original series, if you will, um, that's something to think about. That uh, this does better in salt water. So let's get the crank on it. Such a good looking reel. And obviously I've cranked one of these before. They are so smooth. I was just in the store reeling this thing and it's just unbelievable. Um, so I think I think every fisherman's done this little test where you know you get the reel and you let it free spool. Look at that. Incredible. So I did that side by side with the C14. C14 couldn't do it half as long. So that weight and the smoothness, it all kind of works uh, for the balance of the reel, I think. So that's my personal preference there on that. Um, man, really sick. So I'm gonna put some 10 pound braid on this. It's gonna hold 160 yards. It's got 20 pounds of drag. A long stroke spool designed to cast a little further. And of course, got a new Shimano reel. I had to get a had to get a rod for it. Shimano Terramar, seven and a half foot, medium, extra fast action. Really nice. Stoked. So I'm gonna throw this on here and get it spooled up. Alright guys, back out at the spot. Got the 2500 out here. About to put the first fish on it. Fish on, just like that. There it is. Yeah, baby. Woo! Feels good. What you got here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not today, birdie. Yeah, big piggy to start off. Woo! It's a damn Shimano. You bought one. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah. Oh, you're being sneaky with me, huh? You it's wanted a, to surprise me. It's a damn Shimano. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, hyped about it. That was the first fish on it. Felt good. Still? Okay. Boom, fish on. Oh, that's smooth. God, this is sick, dude. You gotta catch a fish on this. This is nice. It's a damn Shimano. 
Did you text me today or was that yesterday? That was today. Yeah, bro, I was uh, on the treadmill and I started like, I was like, laughing. <laughs> it's a damn shaman. That's a big one. That's a shark bait. Or just a massive red. That 40 inch red hit a, hit a piggy about like that. Ah. Before Connor showed up, showed up, he went by the spot he catches bait at. Caught us a whole bunch of these little finger mullet. Those are so perfect. Nice. Some bird just posted up. What up, dog? Oh, there's one. Yeah. Fish home. This bird, this bird's ready for him. Oh, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Jesus. Wow. Dude, guess what I caught? Pin. That's what we've been trying to catch, but they've all moved out. All the pinfish will go out deep in the winter. This is the first pinfish I've caught catching bait in like 60 fish. I'm not catching any of these lately. This is awesome. It's a good bait. How are you doing? Pretty good. How about you? It's a hot spot. I'll find out. Nope. Have you ever nope. fished here before? No fish here. Huh? Nothing to catch here. Ah, uh, see, you're lying to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a pole, but I love to fish. So. Yeah. Well, get one and come yeah, here. Man. It's a good spot. Yeah. Hey, let me ask you because I'm, I'm not fishing this quickly. No, I have freshwater rods, I know, but. Yeah, oh, that's 360 pound wire, 300 pound shock leader. Oh, wow. I caught a seven and a half foot bull shark on this exact. You did? Yeah, type of rig right here. Right here, you caught a seven foot bull shark? Yeah. Oh. All right, so we caught a little pig fish on the 2500. Let's see if we can step it up. shark rig our cut mullet bait right here go right underneath his fin just like that Oh yeah, easy, easy. Yeah. Nice, Connor's, oh, yeah. Connor's hooked up right here. It's crazy, you were right. Yep, you can just feel it. Probably a catfish. Oh, yeah. It's fighting pretty decent. Yeah. It also has, you know, that weight on there though. I can like see him hitting the... It doesn't feel like a cat, but I haven't caught a cat in a long time. That's either a red or... Oh, it's a sail. Yeah, a big sail cat. Big sail. So not what we're after. This is what we call a sail catfish, and you can pick them out from this long sail-like thing on their dorsal. If you guys don't know, be really careful handling catfish. They've got these spines right here. And if you hit the end of that, it'll uh, it'll mess you up pretty bad for a few hours. Feels like fire. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. Fish on! Doesn't feel like it knows it's hooked.
Yeah, I just realized. No, I just realized it's hooked. Yeah, I could tell I didn't know it was hooked. Nice, we're on. <laughs> New 2500. I think it's bigger. Yeah, that's a nice sail. Yeah, so this guy is what uh, created all that commotion. Just a sail cat. But these guys fight so hard. They're like little sharks. And uh, you call them sail cats. That's their giveaway right there. Much cooler looking and uh, harder fighting than hardhead catfish. Little sail cat. It's always nice uh, if you're not catching much to hook up on one of these. Hit a little mullet bait. <laughs> I'm getting smoked. Woo! On the new Stratic, getting smoked! Oh man, oh man, not good. Oh man, I think I got a jack. He doesn't like me trying to tighten down on him. He's gonna get pulled. Dude, get down there. Get that other camera out of my bag. It's in that gray bag. He's gone. He's gone. Wow. Guys, I just got, I got spooled right there. Wow. So I got down to where I could see the tape at the bottom of my spool. That's crazy, man. Yeah, I think you had a jack. I was a jack. I think so. I think I had a big jack on right there. That was a bullet, right? Yeah, so he picked up that live mullet and absolutely spooled me, guys. New 2500 learned what salt water is all about today. That's badass, man. That was nuts, dude. That was uh, one of my first times to ever be spooled, honestly, the day I bought this reel. You got spooled? Yeah, I got spooled. I gently palmed the spool just because I saw the end of my line coming up. So I tried to finesse, you know, I tried to stop him as best as I could. But Dude, what a the, rush. The, the second I tried to hold it, he just popped right off. That was a huge fish. He doesn't like me trying to tighten down on him. You're gonna get pulled. 